This video is gonna be for absolute beginners. I'm gonna show you how little you need in order to start hard surface in Blender. We're gonna talk about the UI, the basic tools and the workflow. Let's go. Now this video is gonna be focusing on hard surface modeling because that's what we do, but in Blender you can do a lot of things. You can do sculpting, you can do animations, you can do video editing, you can do you know texturing, you can do compositing, you can do a lot of things. So first you need to know what you wanna do. And once you know that, then go ahead and you know chase that. And in order to become really good at something, you need to have access to very good curriculum or some solid content that will teach you the proper techniques and how to you know do things correctly and efficiently and that's exactly where our course comes in which is called hard surface accelerator it will teach you just in two weeks how to be very proficient and effective in modeling hard surface in blender we have thousands of students hundreds upon hundreds of testimonials people love the course because it's really good the curriculum is very concise it will teach you everything you need to know about the ui the tools the workflow we even talk about principles of design there's a whole section about it so if you're into hard surface and you want to learn hard surface as efficiently as possible then click on the link in the video description and grab the course it's phenomenal all right let's get back to our video so first of all we need to talk about the ui so if you want to have your blender set up the way i do have it set up which probably is very different from you know from what you see on the screen because if you download the blender and open it it's going to look very different i have a fantastic video on youtube that shows you exactly step by step how to set up your ui so go ahead and watch it i'm gonna show it to you on the screen next we're gonna be talking about menus and menus you know there are a lot of menus in blender you have menus everywhere different different types of tools for different types of workflows that's why you want to niche down as soon as possible and know what you want to do in blender because the sooner you know what you want to do in blender the less you have to learn and this is really important because it's not overwhelming it's like setting goals if you're gonna set a massive goal in life you will probably fail but if you set incremental goals you will get there and i have a video on that as well but anyway so let's talk about menus and you will not need everything you will just need a few things for hard surface for example i don't use you know this bar hidden top i just use layout i don't use any of these none of them because i don't need them i don't do scripting i don't do ju i hate nodes you know i do compositing occasionally so i might be using this sometimes especially when i want to render a you know a missed pass for for compositing and by the way i have a fantastic video coming up uh, for youtube it's gonna be a over an hour long masterclass for compositing and we're gonna be doing some missed passes over there so you will see but anyway i don't really use this top bar other than the layout because i don't need it and the point here is that if you focus on one specific thing so let's say hard surface you basically remove the need to learn 90% of fluff in Blender because you're just not going to be using it, right? And once you master the basics of a one niche, you can then expand and go wider and, you know, you have something to come back to and lean on. And that's really important. You got this core. And exactly, again, that's why I suggested you the course in the beginning of the video because the course, the Hard Surface Accelerator, which, by the way, is linked in the video description, it's really good because it's going to teach you the basics and then going to teach you them very efficiently and in just two weeks, you can master the whole thing for hard surface, right? So anyway, go ahead and get it because like I said, it's fantastic. And, you know, there are other menus that you will need to learn. But again, I have a video on that as well. So I'm going to show it to you on the screen. Go ahead and watch it. And this video is going to show you all the menus you need for hard surface. So you got the UI set up. You know what menus you need. Now you need to start modeling. And modeling is really simple. You don't really need that much. People think, oh, modeling is so scary. No, it's not. You just need a few tools. And some of these tools are going to be add-ons. And I'm not even talking about paid add-ons at the moment, but you should be using these. I mean, you should be using any tools and any add-ons that are going to save you time and make you more efficient because you're going to be more competitive. The quicker you finish the job, because, you know, I'm guessing that's the whole point, either it's a hobby or you're doing it because you want to make money. The quicker you do something and the more efficient you do something, you, then you can do more things. You can you can make more money. You can just do, you know, create more models, whatever you want to do. It's logic, right? It's a funny thing because I had this video recently on AI where I took a 2D image and created a 3D model out of it and use it for creating proportional blockouts and that video got a lot of heat and i can tell that people are very scared of ai they're terrified and that fear causes them to be very kind of you know not even cautious 
they just kind of want to you know push it back into the box pandora box is open guys ai is there and let me tell you straight you will not be replaced by ai but you will be replaced by someone who's using it so the faster you learn how to utilize these tools the safer you're gonna be there's just no going back it's like on computers and and there's a funny thing i was watching this documentary on japan and the collapse of japanese economy because japan is imploding i mean it's really really bad here i live here and i can tell you that japan is imploding you know the demographic are imploding the economy is just absolute rubbish but never mind what i want to talk about is computers japan was one of the last countries of the developed world which embraced computers right and the reason for that was the complexity of the language until today they stuck in this kind of bureaucratic era i went to tax office recently and I was getting my tax residency certificate. So not only I had to handwrite my own certificate, which they approve as a seal, but I also had to use a carbon copy sheet, you know, the ancient one. I haven't seen this in ages. To copy from one paper to another. It's just so backwards. And there's so much paperwork over there. It's just crazy. And it took them like two days to, you know, to kind of run it through the systems. I had to go back and pick it up. It's just insanity. Japan is kind of like the, uh, the process book by Kafka. If you don't know what read it's fantastic but anyway i digress so going back to the to the to the computers so you know japan is one of the last countries to to embrace computers and they kind of suffered because of this and if you're going to be the last person who embraces you know the technology you're going to be left behind so you either adapt or you die okay this just market doesn't give a shit the market doesn't care Okay. that's why you need to use add-ons and some of these add-ons gonna be free for example you got now add-ons and extensions in blender and some of these extensions gonna be very important like for example bull tool extension right this extension is going to allow you to cut more efficiently in blender so if i'm gonna duplicate the cube shift click here press ctrl minus what you see in this case doesn't work because bull tool isn't enabled so i'm gonna go here enable it right boom right and now watch right control minus how quick is this normally when you do this manually in blender you would need to you know go here to this cube go to modifiers go to generate boolean click on this cube and switch it to uh, difference right and then you would need to convert this one into wire because at the moment you can't really see the cube is cut you see but you can't see that because this cube is actually a solid mesh. So there's a lot of steps you need to do. So add-ons speed that thing up. And if you're gonna use add-ons like, you know, hard ups and box cutter, things are getting even faster because you just, you know, you just draw a shape and you're done, right? And many things are happening in behind the scenes. So add-ons are going to not only speed up your workflow, but also gonna make it more pleasant because you'll be able to be more creative and kind of go with the flow instead of just being stuck into technicalities. This is why, for example, we don't recommend you start with sub D modeling when you're starting using Blender you know, for hard surface, because it's too technical. It's just too much of technicalities in sub D and your brain's gonna get overwhelmed. And a lot of people give up at this stage because you're like, shit, this is modeling, I'm out. You know, it's too complicated, right? Make it simple, make it fun. And then when you have the basics sorted, move into more complicated workflows and more advanced stuff. That's what I would recommend, okay? And in this video on UI setup for Blender that I told you about in the beginning of this video, I actually tell you which Blender add-ons and extensions you need. So again, go ahead and watch this. Now, in terms of modifiers, you know, there are many modifiers in Blender and you can't really see them that easily right now because they kind of bunched up in a sort of a menu. But if I'm going to open the Blender 3.6, which had just a whole list of modifiers, you know, it was kind of crazy how many modifiers there are. I think it's like 100 modifiers in Blender. So when you're going to open this for the first time and you're going to think like, you know, look at this, right? It's like, damn, you know, do I need to learn all of these? That's crazy. And you don't. That's the thing, you know, you don't need to learn all these. You need six, maybe seven. And again, I have a video on that, which modifiers are essential for hard surface modeling. So I'm going to show it to you on the screen. Go ahead and watch the video. And this video is going to show you the key modifiers for Blender and how to use them. Okay. And other than this, you probably need to learn how to eventually how to render and how to, you know, post process your images for your portfolio. But before you do this, you need to learn how to model something. And 
in order to learn how to model something you will need to practice i would suggest you use a lot of references and instead of trying to copy what you see in the reference try to you know use your creativity and your artistic sense in order to create something original because that's gonna push your your skills further if you're just gonna be copying other people's art that's not really art you know that's just craftsmanship okay you just know how to use tools to recreate something that someone else did i don't like that so in order to become really good at hard surface try to imbue your models with your own creativity this is why you need a lot of references you can have a lot of visual cues when you get stuck let's say you get stuck on a blockout face you know okay what am i gonna do now i'm gonna do this one we had um you know recently uh in our community private community which at the moment is closed on our hard surface academy community i had a question regarding like a really cool bot one of the girls over there you know asked me alice you know she asked me you know she was stuck on the on the front um on the front side of the model and she didn't know how to proceed and i just you know said look what you need to do is look at the whole model look at the you know what the design language tells you and then look at the references of other you know sci-fi models of similar type or maybe even the real life models of similar type maybe some animals and eventually your brain's gonna click because your brain will tell you okay this fits and next week she came back with a with a really cool design which kind of reminded me of a turtle you know and it was fantastic it was just just spot on and uh, she took the inspiration from one of the military trucks you know kind of like a russian off-road military truck and it, everything was peachy so so when your brain's gonna click but if you don't use reference if you don't think this way you're gonna get stuck in the groove of kind of repeating and modeling what someone else did it's going to be very demotivating for for your soul because you know we artists like to create and we are proud of what we make right so basically what you want to do you want to scratch your artistic itch okay and it takes time the thing is don't give up again watch my video on giving up i dropped it as a 100k sub special it's a really good video it's gonna help you a lot because I, I know that a lot of people give up and usually it's a build you know kind of frustration that builds up and when it reaches the top of a jar and it spills you know you, you you're done right so in order not to give up you know stick to what i told you right learn the blender ui learn the basic tools okay and then when you start modeling something use a lot of references you need to build your visual library play games that you like okay I oftentimes just load the game you know like a sci-fi game because i like sci-fi design run around and take screenshots i got like three thousand or four thousand screenshots from from star citizen i got 60 or 70 gigabytes of references in pure ref files so i'm constantly gathering references non-stop if i see something cool on the internet i grab it so anyway to sum it up set the ui learn the basic minimum you know what you need for your hard surface modeling then set your uh, blender correctly and make sure that you're not using tools you don't need because why would you and stick to a very simple workflow if you're starting in blender and you're starting hard surface i would suggest you stick to ngon boolean workflow because it's simply easy and also intuitive and it's fun and once you get deeper into modeling and maybe you're gonna be into modeling some more organic stuff eventually maybe you will need more tools or different tools like sub d then great and we have a fantastic course on sub d as well in which i teach you how to use add-ons all kinds of add-ons in order to create a very efficient and effective sub d workflow that actually isn't painful because sub d is painful anyway that's it for the video i hope you're gonna find it useful and like i said in the beginning grab the hard surface accelerator course because it's really really good and it's a very well designed and concise curriculum which is going to save you a ton of time and teach you exactly what you need and none of the fluff Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.